I was reading that that you both went into this series with with just a little musical experience, not a lot, and now you walk out as kind of rock stars. How does that one feel? I mean, it's it's it is pretty amazing. You know, I think we really came from not being able to play anything on a guitar or sing really to having a full record coming out, which is like it's crazy to us. I think. I kind of don't believe either of you. I'm like, you're not going to make me believe Riley just sang in the shower. You're not going to make me believe Sam never picked up a guitar. Come on. I know, it's true. We, we were blessed with a lot of time. Um, teachers, <laughs> time coaches. Yeah. We had a, a, a crazy team behind us and hours and hours of rehearsal and um anything's possible yeah. is what is, is, is my is my as now go-to entirely <laughs> tone deck yeah, yeah. a lot can happen with you know That's the glass. what was the biggest challenge though for both of you in learning to you know because you want to come across as authentic you and because people will pick it apart and they'll they'll see quickly like oh okay they don't really know what they're doing what's the yeah. biggest challenge i think all of it coming together <laughs> all of it you know i, th I think it was it was like not only playing the guitar, but singing whilst I'm playing the guitar, whilst also trying to move like I know what I'm doing and I've been doing this for my whole entire life, whilst also singing in an American accent, whilst also, you know, <laughs> right. um, like running on no food because I was trying to lose weight for the part. Like I, th I think there was, there was so many things like kind of that I had to sort of contend with. Um, but honest, on honestly, like as Riley said, the, the amount of like, people involved in making this a reality. Um, you know, the co from the coaches to the producers, like everyone was so supportive. I think they had more belief in me than I had in myself. So it was kind of... He's really hard on himself. I, I, well, you know, but anyway, it was, it was team effort. Riley, um, take me back to that very first day that you two sang together on set. Oh my what God. were on your set? reactions? Oh, we Different. had months of jam sessions. So yeah. we, had, we had months of rehearsal. So we were basically um, in band practice for, I don't know, a year? That one time <laughs> yeah. at band camp? That yeah, one time at band camp, we, it was I a lot the, of times at band camp. The first time we sang together was at Eric Vitro's Oh, house. yes! We went to our singing coach at <laughs> Eric, that was really fun. But we couldn't stop laughing. Laughing. At, at, like, <laughs> it's like the first time I'd ever sung that closely. Yeah, because we got in the room, neither of us had been singers, he you know, he put us together and then it was like, okay, I want you to like look at each other. And, <laughs> and we just were both like, what was it, barely Aurora? knew each other. It was Aurora, right. the, the and we were singer. like, uh, I can't sing it. It's weird. <laughs> um, but we were, it was very funny and we were both gig I think, I'm a giggly there, I think person. there's an image of us somewhere that's <laughs> it's a video I have. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and I'm like <laughs> pretending I'm a rock star playing guitar. But it, 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 all I remember from that, that session was actually how I was like, okay, well, I'm not singing on my own. I feel less sort of yes. naked. I was like, okay, okay, I can sort of rely on I someone thought, else. I, like, okay. I felt the same because up until then, it had just been like me auditioning alone and him auditioning alone. And and it was this moment of like, oh, we're both <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> I was like, oh, phew, it's not just me. I thought maybe she's miles ahead of me. And I was like, oh, no, no, we're both, we're both. Yeah, we were just uh, together. I'm so we blend really well. Yeah. Riley, so what does it mean to be continuing like your family's musical legacy in a, in a series like this? Wow, I mean, I, I certainly wouldn't put that pressure on it. I, I don't know if there is continuing uh, my grandfather's legacy. Um, it's its own sort of uh, thing to me, um, but it was a real, really fun experience for me. I'm not a musician. All right, I am now, kind of. You are. Um, but I'm, I'm, I've, you know, been interested in film my whole life. And so for me, it was more um, really loving to get to um, have a, rela a relationship with uh, music in that way, because that, that's not something that I'd, you know, I, I'd listen to music and my whole family are musicians and I've been around this world a lot and been on tour and all that kind of stuff, but I'd never really um, done it myself. So for me, yeah, it was more about my personal relationship with, you know, getting to play music, which was fun. Well, if DNA is a thing and it really, like, you got the rock star DNA and it came um. flying <laughs> out of you, sis. No, Aww. for real, I'm not even <laughs> I was like, I get it, I buy it. Yes, Aww. I get it. It's well, awesome. that was also, Extensive rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about the fashion? 
because Daisy was everything in yeah. Yeah. all the clothes. That, I mean, come on, right? It was, yeah. that, how much fun was it? I remember someone <laughs> saying, it looks like you've just walked from home and like, <laughs> like a lot of questions are just like what denim jeans and a denim <laughs> uh, Yeah, I, I look very current, but like, the, like seeing their fashion journeys was, was I mean, amazing, mesmeric. <laughs> Oh, I have to give context. He keeps using a word that's not <laughs> okay, correct. Stop doing this now. <laughs> okay. stop um, doing this. Yeah, I mean, it was so. I mean, that was one of the most fun parts of this experience for me. Along, you know, aside from the music and learning, you know, um, to play and sing, was the costumes and working with Denise, who who did all of our costumes for the show, and the way that she let me collaborate with her. I, I'd never had an experience like that, and. Um, the amount of references, I mean, it's the 70s, so it's just like in the most incredible costumes. And um, we were sending each other photos of Cher and Joni Mitchell and Stevie Nicks and everybody. We were just constantly sharing photos and bracelets and tops and shoes and going, oh my gosh, we need to get this. And um, it was so much fun. When you're making an album, it's an intimate thing. It has to be. I've never seen him smile this much in his life. Can we get a, a season two, see what the band- If you want a season two, you need to tell Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Amazon, yo! <laughs> where, where do I sign up, basically? I'm yeah. a resolution girl. <laughs> yeah, I know, it does leave you hanging. Would you guys be in if that thought ever came? I, 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 I actually already pitched my version of series Pitch two. It. What is it? Well, oh, oh, God, it's a long story, but uh, <laughs> it's a very long story. I wanna hear but, it. Um, yeah, the, the, I, I still feel like there's so much more to, to come but it's not for us to say. Maybe Taylor Jenkins really needs to write another book. Another book. <laughs>